I've got a JSON sample to show you. It is extremely simple and very, very unique. I think that you'll find some use cases in your organization for something like this. What this JSON sample will do for you is it will hide the command bar on a list or library. Now there's a number of reasons why you may wanna do this. It could just be the simple matter of you want a cleaner looking SharePoint environment. So let's check this thing out in action. I'm on a basic document library. Let's just suppose I'm setting up a new library and I want, a, I want a clean look to this thing. People can already just right click on something and they can get to a context menu here. So maybe, maybe this command bar really isn't needed. Maybe we want to clean this thing up. Now this JSON sample, uh, if we go over here, it's called hide all, com all buttons on the command bar. And it was created by Git Jago. And so what we can do with this is you'll see a screenshot here, of course, of the command bar itself and just kind of a, a, a visualization of it going away, which you will see. If we click on the JSON file here, I'll walk you through a little bit of what this thing is. It's actually really, really simple. But we can click on copy raw file right here to copy the code into our clipboard. Then what I would do is I would recommend creating a brand new view for this just so that you're not, um, it, you can still work with this list with the all documents view or the all items view if you need to. We'll call this clean view. And once we have this new clean view, we could click on the view uh, menu, go down to format current view and then go to advanced mode. From here, we're gonna select everything that's inside there and just delete it and paste in our code. And all we have to do at this point is click the save button and the command bar is gone. It just vanished. That's because of the power of JSON formatting. Now, if you're not familiar with this and all the power that JSON formatting can do without writing any actual like programming code, because not everyone's a developer, right? You'll see a link in the description below this video on my online course. It's incredibly popular and teaching a lot of people about how to do this stuff. It's all organized in a very structured way so that if you're a complete newbie to all this stuff, you'll understand all of it by the time you finish the course. Let's go over and let's uh, close this though and we can just see what we've got here. So the command bar is all gone. Technically it's still there. We're just really hiding every button on there. You could go a little bit further and just turn on the buttons you want to appear there and you'll see that if we go and look at the code itself. So what are we looking at here? Um, we're, we're, this is all JSON, which is just a way of structuring uh, simple data. And you'll see that this is a view formatting schema. So this is a view formatter. We can't apply it to a column. It has to be applied to a view because it's affecting that whole view, right? It's, it's affecting that command bar for the entire view, not just affecting a particular item in there. And then we're using the command bar props option to be able to control that command bar and what happens in there. And then we're just listing all the different commands with a property called hide so that we can hide the, the, the particular button. Now, if you wanted to be able, if you wanted to show a button on there and just, you know, you wanted rule find control over which ones, you could just simply find the button on there and remove this line so it doesn't hide it. And at that point, you would show just that one button. So if you wanted to clean up the interface but not erase this thing entirely, this is a really, really good way to show just the relevant buttons on the command bar that your users would need to use. It keeps things very simple and it definitely keeps them uh, from having to use that ellipsis button uh, to get the, uh, the context menu and, and find things that have been hidden because there's just so many freaking buttons on that command bar, right? So we list out all the different buttons and it's hiding it, hiding them all. Them all. And that's all it does. That's it. This is one of the simplest JSON formatters that I, think, that I think that I've seen in a long time, but it's so powerful and it gives such a nice look to SharePoint, right? It's so clean. It's, it's, it doesn't look like, you know, the messy SharePoint that we typically see when we dig into lists and libraries.
So let me know in the comments what you think about this and w whether you've used something like this or what, what use case you see this being used for in your organization. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you over there. And if you want to see more amazing JSON formatting samples, then click or tap the screen to get started and I'll see you over there.